Hey everybody, this is Tanner, Mr. Crazy Crazy, <coughs> coming at you with an <coughs> another video. <coughs> and let me just, hold on one second. Okay, I'm making treat bags for um, my mamma's church, um, for the children, for Halloween. <coughs> she, they're doing a hayride thing, and I thought it would be nice to put it in treat bags. So here's how I got the treat bags already done. I've already took a five by five sheet of pumpkin pie cardstock, um, cut it from eight and a half by eleven to five by five, scored it at two and a half, make it even on both sides. I'm just gonna staple, staple, put staple together right here so it won't come off. And then I have a little sheet that's already cut. I've already got this all prepared. And this is four, five by five by five. No, five by. No, hold on. <laughs> five by two. So this is five by two and a half. And it just goes on here like that. It fits on perfect. So I get my ATG gun. Put some adhesive on here. Just run that. Just run your ATG on your <coughs> paper. Then this sheet right here covers up the staples. And this might not need to be a gift for a three-year-old. The staples are at the back. And these will be a little easier to open. It's supposed to be centered real nice. Um, here's that. And then I'm going to move that out of our way. Now I'm going to get out some white paper. Stamper paper, and I'm gonna get out my. Um, this is from this little stamp. I use them a lot here in Halloween. Batty for you stamp set that I haven't had the time to unmount. Everybody's excuse. I haven't had the time. I haven't had the time. It's all we hear. And I'm just inking it up real nice. Sometimes you have to stamp it twice. You know, don't get discouraged. And that looks pretty good, so I might go stamp it again. Get up there, get out my trimmer. And I'm just going to trim this from us. and trim it one more time. And here's your little image that <coughs> you um, stamp. I'm just going to sit that paper over there. <coughs> I have to make quite a bit of these. So they can get a little pricey, but with Walmart, it's a great prices. Not um, you can save money a little better Walmart. One and a half by this is a one and a half by one and a half stamped image. And I'm not getting out the cricket for this. It's just simple, it's not for me. So two by two will be good. And this is a great way to use them for scraps. I'm using my scraps right now. It's a big map. So let's trim it. I kind of like this longer 
thing right here. It looks pretty nice. So I'll just keep it. Then I got my ATG gun again. Some adhesive on the back of the image. And then tell me what we're going to use. Dimensionals, dimensionals, dimensionals. To dimension this onto our treat bag. So here's our treat bag. With our, um, and these spiders came from a stack of paper called Specialty Cardstock. Me and my big ideas. Halloween special set, I guess. That's what I'll call it. So that's what I'm calling it. Don't know if that's right or wrong. I could be right for all I know. So. I just use four. And it goes on here real nice. And it says, I'm baddie for you. I'm baddie for you. And guess what? I'm baddie for you. So, that only took me 6 minutes and 21 seconds to make that treat bag. And I was going pretty slow. And like I said, well, I never said this but on this video. But after you already make one and you're making a lot, it gets real easy because you know the sizes. And it's just like making cards. When you learn how to make a card real easy, then you can keep on doing it and doing it and doing it. They can make cards really faster and easier every time. So, thanks for watching, Mr. Crazy. Hope you have a great day. Bye for now.